the busy little raindrop, high up in the sky, where the clouds float like big fluffy pillows, there lived a tiny drop of water named Drippy. Drippy wasn't just any raindrop. He was curious, always wondering what lay beyond his big soft cloud. Every day, he'd peek over the edge and watch the world below. The green hills, the rivers that shimmered like ribbons, and the children who played in the fields. He'd sigh happily and say, Someday, I want to go down there and see it all for myself. One morning, the cloud around Drippy began to feel heavy. Hmm, what's happening? he asked his friend Splasher. Splasher giggled. We're filling up with water. The air's getting cooler. I think it's almost time. Time for what? Drippy asked, his little eyes wide with excitement. Before Splasher could answer, the whole cloud began to rumble. The white fluff turned grey and lightning flashed softly across the sky. Oh! gasped Drippy, bouncing in surprise. Then, without warning... Whoosh! He slipped right out of the cloud and started falling. Down, down, down he went, tumbling through the air. The wind rushed past his round little face and he couldn't help laughing. Wee! I'm flying! Drippy shouted, spinning through the mist. Below, the earth grew bigger and greener. He zipped past a bird who squawked in surprise. Watch where you're falling! The bird called. Sorry! giggled Drippy as he zoomed past. Finally, with a happy plop, Drippy landed in a shiny puddle beside a park bench. He looked around in wonder. Everything sparkled. The grass, the trees, even the little puddles nearby. Children splashed their boots in the water, laughing and spinning around. This is amazing, said Drippy. So this is what the world looks like. As the rain slowed, the puddle started to shrink. Tiny streams of water trickled away across the ground. Drippy felt himself being pulled along. Hey, where am I going now, he said, letting the current carry him. He wiggled past pebbles and blades of grass until he joined a narrow stream that flowed between the trees. The sunlight shone through the branches and Drippy floated gently with the water. He saw frogs sitting on lily pads, dragonflies darting above him, and a family of ducks splashing in the shallows. This is wonderful, Drippy whispered. Everywhere I go, there's something new to see. The stream grew wider and faster. The water swirled around rocks and twigs, bubbling as it flowed. Soon, Drippy found himself in a big river, wide, bright and full of life. The river sparkled under the afternoon sun. Fish swam beneath him and boats drifted lazily on the surface. Drippy smiled. There are so many of us here. We're all part of something bigger. Days passed. The river carried Drippy through valleys and forests, past towns and fields, until the water began to smell salty and the waves grew strong. And then there it was. The ocean. Vast. Blue. Endless. Drippy gasped. Wow, this is the biggest thing I've ever seen. He floated on the waves, watching dolphins leap in the distance. A friendly turtle swam by, nodding hello. Welcome to the sea, said the turtle kindly. You raindrops always find your way here eventually. Drippy beamed. It's beautiful. He spent many days in the ocean, drifting through coral reefs, watching schools of fish shimmer like rainbows. Sometimes he'd sink deep below, where the water was cool and dark. Other times, he'd rise back up to the sparkling surface to feel the warmth of the sun. Then, one morning, something felt different. The sun was shining brighter than ever. Drippy felt lighter, almost ticklish. What's going on, he wondered. He looked down. His round little shape was turning into mist. Oh! he gasped. I'm floating up. The warm sun had started to evaporate him, turning him into tiny water vapour. Slowly, gently, he rose into the sky once more. He floated higher and higher, past birds and mountain tops, until he reached the cool blue sky again. And there, waiting for him, 
was a soft, fluffy cloud. Drippy, you're back, cried Splasher, floating over to greet him. I sure am, Drippy laughed, and I've seen everything. Rivers, oceans, turtles, even a teacup. The other raindrops gathered around him, amazed by his adventure. Tell us everything, they said. So Drippy told them stories about puddles and rivers, about the dolphins in the sea, and about how warm the sunshine felt when he began to rise again. And then, just as Drippy finished his tale, the cloud started to grow heavy once more. Drippy smiled knowingly. Well, he said, I guess it's time to start again. His friends giggled. Down we go. Together, the raindrops tumbled through the sky, laughing and spinning, bringing fresh rain to the world below. Some fell into rivers, some into trees, some even landed on flowers or rooftops. But Drippy, he landed in something warm and familiar. A teacup! He floated to the top, looking around. Ah, he sighed happily, a lovely place to rest. And so, Drippy's journey continued from sky to rain, from river to ocean, and back again. Round and round he travelled the world, helping plants grow, filling lakes and keeping the earth alive and bright. And the next time you see raindrops on your window or hear them tapping softly on your roof, remember Drippy, the busy little raindrop who never stops exploring. The End <laughs> 